Hey fellow explorers, it's January. You know what that means? New food and merchandise here at Tokyo Disneyland. So today I'm going to take you through the Today Guide to show you what is new. Let's take a look at what's new for January at Tokyo Disneyland and it's the start of the grand finale of the 35th anniversary. It's almost over. Ah. <laughs> and you can see this Today Guide in particular runs from January 10th through 31st. That's why this video is a little bit late. I had to wait for this to come out so I can show you what is new. And remember, you can also pick these up at the turnstiles when you go into the park. And the reason why I'm going through it today is because it's only in Japanese. And this is an essential item when you're in the park. So make sure you grab one. And also there's a hidden Mickey somewhere on here too. Makes for a great souvenir. Open it up and you're gonna see information here about the grand finale of the 35th anniversary. The biggest thing is the Dreaming Up Parade, which is their parade that debuted for the 35th anniversary. Don't worry, this parade is not going anywhere. What happens is during major anniversaries, they introduce a new parade and it sticks around until the next major anniversary. So this parade, Dreaming Up, should be around until the 40th anniversary. So don't worry, once the anniversary is over, this parade will still be around. But for the grand finale, they're doing a special version of Dreaming Up. So they're doing a special, they call it a show stop. So you can see the yellow here. So we have Cinderella Castle and then around the hub area, they do a special show stop where the parade stops and then they do um, a little performance that is different from the regular version of the parade. So this is only happening during the grand finale. And Mickey is up here, if you want to know. Mickey is up here. Minnie Mouse is right in front of the partner statue. And then the Peter Pan and Mary Poppins float is back here. Just so you're aware, if you want to know where the characters are. And if you want good pictures, you'll see photographers are going to be at these little corners here in front of the castle. That's where a lot of photographers, photographers will be. So if you want to be one of the cool kids, go there <laughs> and bring your big camera lens this is a fantastic parade this is my favorite parade I absolutely love it and there's a special version of the celebration street which is the projection show they do in the world bazaar which is our version of Main Street USA and they do it in the evening and it's just kind of uh, random in terms of when they're gonna be doing streamers because they do streamers as well but they don't do it every time. And this is a continuous show. It will it runs for about 90 seconds, it'll stop, then it'll start again a few minutes later. So this is after sundown. Um, they don't really say exactly when it starts because sometimes they'll do the normal version first thing and then it turns into the, the special version. So if you watch it later in the evening, you'll be able to see it. And we have decorations throughout the park. Same stuff that we had for the 35th anniversary for the almost the past year. If you go to the Mark Twain Riverboat, you can get this little booklet for free and you can put a stamp on it. That's really fun. And we still have the, the statues around the park where you can buy this little Mickey memory maker. And if you walk by these statues, they're at both Disneyland and Disney Sea. this will talk. And Mickey will say a bunch of different things. It's only in Japanese, unfortunately. And if it's your birthday, tell a cast member and they'll give you a free birthday sticker. We do stickers here, we don't do buttons. And these are the only stickers that we really give out. There's this one and the first visit stickers. We don't have any other type of uh, like buttons and stuff like that. We, we, like, we have buttons, but you have to buy them. <laughs> it's just how it works here. And we have the new version of It's a Small World and all these other shows that have been around for a little bit here. And this is the, the popcorn bucket if you book a vacation package. So if you go to the website, book the vacation package, you'll get this bucket. Opening it up, we're gonna see merchandise for the grand finale. Yes, they have grand finale merchandise. So this is new merchandise in addition to the happiest celebration merchandise. So some of the merchandise from the 35th anniversary is still available, but they also added grand finale merchandise. So don't you worry. And this merchandise is only available until March 25th. After that, it is gone. You're not gonna be able to get it, unfortunately. So if you're coming after then, sorry. And we have the memory maker here, and we have a bunch of 
new items here. I, I have a full video going through all this stuff too, so don't worry. We have this special keychain, which they've changed for the grand finale. You can get this at the Monsters Inc. store in Tomorrowland. And it's a customizable keychain. Um, if you can read Japanese, you can do it ahead of time. You just scan the QR code here and you can uh, do, it in, do it in advance and pick it up. Or you can do it right in the park too. It takes a little bit, uh, depends on how busy it is. It could take anywhere between an hour, two hours, three hours. Just depends on how busy the park is. But you get to pick a base, which is really beautiful. I think I may, may need to get this one. I've been holding out because they've been changing this throughout the year. And you get to pick a base and then you can add little accessories onto it here. And I love the 35th anniversary banner. I think I'm gonna have to do this. And they also have this at Disney Sea, but this design is different. Some of the stuff is the same, but the base is different. And that, that's at Lost River Delta at Disney Sea. And we just have highlights of winter merchandise to keep you nice and warm because it's cold. It's really cold. <laughs> and here, uh, this is lip balm and hand cream with Baymax. And we have the chocolates because it's Valentine's Day is coming up very soon. So we have some different chocolates that you can buy with very beautiful packaging. They always do this every January and February. And we have school break coming up in end of February into March. So they have some school merchandise, well, school themed, you know, so you can be one of the cool kids if you're with your bow tie. This kind of takes me back to like 2003 when Avril Lavigne was wearing this. <laughs> Are these back in style? Are they back in style now? I don't know. And here we have some uh, food items. So we have a new popcorn bucket, new Minnie Mouse popcorn bucket. And this is at the, the gazebo, which is in Adventureland. So this is really cute. And for information on popcorn buckets, just go to our website, tdxpro.com slash popcorn, where we keep an updated list of this, where to find popcorn buckets and what flavors are available. We don't know how long this stuff is gonna be around. I get asked quite a bit if I know how long popcorn buckets are gonna be around for. We don't know. They don't tell us. So it could be, it could be around just until March 25th. It could be around for the next year. We honestly don't know. So if you're coming, buy it, because it probably won't be here the next time you come back. And like I said, regular menu items. But of note is the Green Alien Mochi are back at Disneyland. So they went away for a bit and they had the Stormtrooper ones, but now they got the Green Alien, but they also have the special Pixar ball one, which is at Disney Sea as well. But the special thing at Disneyland is you can get the nine, nine pieces, which is only at Disneyland from what I can tell. And they come with the different flavors, but the Luxo ball is lemon cream flavored. The other ones are, from what I know, it's strawberry and chocolate. Really, really good. And you can get this at the Pangalactic Pizza Port and also in Soft Landing. And this is all in Tomorrowland. And we have a Mickey shaped burger. And we have some hot drinks here. Um, we have the Hoji Cha, my favorite tea. And we have some green tea. Green tea with azuki bean, which is the red sweet bean. And we have the hot ginger lemon drink. This is always really good. This has been around for a while. This is at Camp Woodchuck. And then we have the wagami and tamago, uh, essentially seaweed and egg soup. And then we have this um, vegetable and bacon cream soup. Here's one, and they have it on the map here where you can find all the items. And up here, we have some new food items for the 35th anniversary grand finale. Uh, one is this candy case, which is really cute. It looks like the Celebration Tower, which is in the World Bazaar. And you can get them at, there's a bunch of locations you can get them at. Um, the main ones are in at the food booths in the hub area in front of the castle. So you can do that. Make sure you do it early in the day because they actually close at sundown. And then also at uh, Huey Dewey Louie's Good Time Cafe. Um, they have the chocolate version and the food booths have the jelly, like jelly candies here. And there's little hidden Mickeys on them. How adorable is that? And we have some new uh, souvenir items. So we have this um, dessert here, strawberry, strawberry dessert with a really cute cup. And also this cute plate with this crepe, crepe layered cake. And these are both at the Sweetheart Cafe. And the beef cone is back. The beef cone is back. It went away for a bit and now it's back. 
This is really good. It has bechamel on the top with some rice, and then underneath is karubi, which is a type of Korean beef. It is really good, and the cone is sweet. <laughs> and let's talk about this bread for a moment. This is at the Sweetheart Cafe. So we have this Mickey bread, which is really cute, by the way. There's strawberry cream, white chocolate, and also caramel and custard. So there's three different flavors inside of it, but there is now this lunch case souvenir that you can get. It looks exactly like the bread. Now, story time. The day that this came out, you wanna know how long the wait time was to get this bread because of this lunch case? Seven hours. Not even kidding. Seven hours to get this. So needless to say, I haven't had this yet because um, I didn't wanna wait seven hours and I haven't been back to the park yet. So I'm gonna go back next week so I can try and get this because this is ridiculously cute. And from what I know, they're gonna have this in stock, so don't worry. Sometimes the lines can get really crazy, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Release days are always pretty crazy with stuff, especially if something's really cute. We never know what people are gonna latch on to, so it's kind of a surprise. So this is like the big surprise. Seven hour wait. Seven hours, six hours, five hours. It was, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna have a full video with the, the snacks too, so don't, don't you worry. And we still have the cotton candy churro, and we have the ridiculously long hot dog. I covered these in our video back in April, so I'll, I'll put a link at the top here. You'll probably see it pop up. <laughs> you can go and check them out because nothing has changed there. And we have this new, this new um, set at Grandma Sarah's, which is uh, chicken and curry sauce, and it comes with this multi-layered cake. Really nice. Grandma Sarah's always has really big portion sizes, and this is easy to, to share between two people or share with uh, children and stuff, and it's, it's quite good. And then at the Eastside Cafe, they have this special set as well. It comes with a dessert and um, spaghetti. You can see there's seafood in it. And we have what I think is the final installment of the It's a Small World pizza. So they've been changing the flavors every few months to represent different countries or different parts of the world for It's a Small World. So the theme right here, is uh, Locomoco, Hawaiian Locomoco. <laughs> so there's chicken meatballs and eggs and broccoli and corn and cheese. It's a very strange combination on a pizza. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna be in my video, and, or my food video for the grand finale, which will come out soon. And then there's a lunch case, a really adorable lunch case for an extra thousand yen. You have to buy the pizza to get the case. Really, really cute. And here, uh, they still have the crunch, the duck butt ice cream, the set ice cream cones, just at the end of the World Bazaar. And they also have the Daisy Duck one as well. There's still, there's lots and lots to buy and eat and experience at Tokyo Disneyland in January. All right, Falx Morris, thank you so much for joining me as I showed you what's new here at Tokyo Disneyland for the month of January. And don't forget, you can pick these up right at the turnstiles when you come into the park. I love that design, it's really cute. <laughs> if you're planning a trip to Tokyo Disney Resort, make sure you check out our ebook travel guide up on our website at tdrxport.com slash ebook. Has everything you need to know to plan the perfect trip to Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. And if you like this video, give it a like, a share, and leave me a comment below. <laughs> All right, Explorers, until next time.